Hello everybody. Today I thought I would do a short tutorial on creating light streaks. There are plenty of Photoshop tutorials that show you how to do this. Uh, typically it will use the pen tool uh, to accomplish the curves that are necessary to then stroke and create uh, the light streaks. But unfortunately for us, Photo Plus's pen tool does not have the same feature set. So you never quite get the uh, night streak with a nice uh, sharp point on the end like it should have. So I'm going to demonstrate another way that you can do it in Photo Plus without using the pen tool at all. So we're going to add a new layer to this photograph of the lovely Olivia Wilde and I'm going to on this new layer click on the ellipse selection tool and I have this set with a feather of 5 you could increase that some if you wanted to but uh, 5 is typically pretty good and we're just going to select up here at the top click once and drag to the bottom let it click at the bottom and then make it nice and thin, like that. Now, I'm going to take white, which is already selected up here, and choose the flood fill can, and just click right in there. We can now get rid of our selection, and we have this straight streak of white light. What we do then is go to Effects, Distort, and Shear, what that allows us to do is take this streak of white light and bend it into a bunch of different ways. So we're going to go over here like this. Push that back to the top. Put another node right here. Drag it across like that. Another node right here. Drag it across like that. Another node. Drag it across, and another node like this, drag it across, we can change the positions of all of these, and then we're going to add one more right here, and then drag this one across the bottom, like this. We're going to stretch this one out a little bit, and we're going to stretch the top one out a little bit also. And we're going to say okay to that. And that makes a nice zigzag. We are going to go to the deform tool. And we're just going to shrink this up a little bit. Shrink it up like this. Take a good look at it. Maybe shrink it this way some. Maybe rotate it some also. Drag it up here like this. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to just take it this way some more. Now we're going to immediately go to effects. And we are going to add an outer glow to this. And we're going to go with something pinkish. A nice light pink like that. And we're going to increase the opacity. We are going to make it blurred and intensify it. Like that. Change that to multiply and say uh, inner glow. The inner glow we're going to make a uh, uh, slightly bluish, slightly bluish color. And we're going to change that to multiply. And again, we're going to go there. Change it to center. And we'll just change that. Get a little bluish color in there. And we'll say that's fine like that. Now, obviously we want it to wrap around her arm. So we're going to go up here first. And we're going to choose our eraser tool. And we're just going to start by 
getting rid of this first part right down to here get rid of that and then we are going to back up here a little bit again wraps around there grab the eraser tool again and just clip it off right there clip it off right here and then we're going to zoom all the way out so we can look at that and one last touch we're going to add to it is a little bit of Gaussian blur not too much, just about maybe two points that just smooths everything out more nicely and there you have it we have Olivia Wilde with a light streak wrapped around her arm and there you go. Happy painting, everybody.